I want to give you some words from the Holy Spirit um, that the, he wished me to put out here. This day, says the Lord, I see great disaster. I have waited and shown mercy. Time after time after time, I warn. Time after time after time, I have delayed judgments. Time after time after time. Now, in the early days when America was founded by what you call the forefathers, that this nation was built on Christian values, and that this is a great nation you once called unto me. I once mattered to you, and like a good father, I blessed you over and over and over again. When you struggled and had almost nothing, and you would go into the deep corners and pray for your nation, pray for your family, pray for your children. I was what mattered to you then. But as the days passed, there were many more things to occupy your time. Things like jobs, family vacations, television, social media, internet, cell phones, sports, and all the many things that you have. All of these things became more important to you. It became a way of life as you sought the ways of the world. I was left behind, and the love story of my word became just another book to lay in a corner of the shelf and become dusty. During the course of the years, I watched many things occur. I know everything and watch closely the events that took shape. I saw wars. I saw bloodshed. I saw even back then, so many years ago, people of all walks of life would pray for my will to be done. Many would repent, and so many called on me, and they so loved me. I wanted to give the people so much and tell them my heart, but it was not to be. There have been so many changes, and slowly I have been locked out of everything. Today, everyone is so busy. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You hurry and you make sure you have time for this and time for that, but you have no time for me, which has brought us to know about the coming civil war. I told you that I would come back for my remnant people. I warned and told you and used others to tell you that there would be tribulation, wars, rumors of wars, but you didn't listen, and now it may even be too late, unless you turn back to me now. What is a civil war? Before I go into this, I'm saying right now, many people call it World War III. So this is what it is all about. The civil war is a reformation of time when the people decide they don't like the way things are going and they decide to try and overthrow the government. It is a time when martial law can be declared, when rationalization is gone and anything goes. Well, this land of America is now going to see a civil war, a bloodbath. Many, many lives will be lost. The land will not look the same. The people will not be the same. Their hearts have waxed cold. The same thing has infiltrated my church. During this time, many churches and organizations will lose their statuses. They will lose money. They will lose their buildings. And they will lose their congregations. There will be much confusion in people that are not close to me that have turned their backs on me. And mocked and scoffed will be the worst for it. The worst of the worst will come. People will continue to die of diseases. Famine will be so bad you will resort Woe to cannibalism. Now, before I continue, let me go back here to what I just read. Meaning, 
the 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 food what how do we link this what i'm reading to today we are under a very serious serious war that is in the making and even with that war wherever this war that is coming with russia over ukraine with europe over this and that it will come back to this this is what the lord is saying it will become a civil war what you think is a world war three will become a civil war it is a man-made war drawn to not just depopulate more there are many plans going on a warning of time venues are closing are my sheep hearing me the lord here like a rushing of water is it time it is like drops slithering through your fingers i hear the innocent that rise up and cry for revenge i hear the loved ones gone before their time i hear the cry when will we be avenged i hear mommy i am here waiting for you i hear we want christians jews and all those who believe in jesus to be abolished i hear keep prayer out of school i hear keep abortions coming i hear keep jesus out of our money out of our government out of our flag i hear there are new ways to worship new paths new ways to heaven we don't need him i tell you now that venues of time are closing i have turned many over as retrobates already because they have hardened their hearts i not anyone else have given satan his time now and here is what will follow you wanted a world without me and so shall you have it given to you my hedge of protection will be gone except for those who are my true remnant they will be protected still in my love for you and for those that truly serve me i will tell you that soon governments that have covered up things secrets will be revealed weather changes are coming stronger and more chaotic a new plague is underway a new plague is underway and it will undermine those who think they have all the answers in their healing and techniques. Many will lose their lives and it will come as a surprise to many. Okay, this is talking, when he spoke this to me, the new plague is one that is in the making now. However, he said this it will also be applied to Ebola and all that we were presently experiencing during the lockdown and the other things they are coming to pass right now the death all these new techniques in other words the scientists doc all the people that can tell you what's inside of it but yet they have no idea what the spiritual consequences are or what is spiritually happening inside because people can't see it people don't want to believe it and people are not spiritually inclined pay close attention for the time is near at hand there will be civil unrest increasing and the war that you hear about will be fast at hand it will turn into what you call a holocaust are you hearing people warn while you can and while i can be found for soon i will not hear you many well-known watchmen and prophets and even some theologians that think they have things figured out will be very surprised at the curveball i throw I desire, I desire those that serve me in spirit and in truth. There will not be very many. I will have my way in those small insignificant places that no one knows where my fire is ever present and where the open heaven and my flame burn constantly. It is a serious time approaching. All the beginning of sorrows, the peace that everyone knows is I'm at an end. Find me while you still can, for soon I won't be found. Search your heart and make sure I am first and under my protection. And that is the end of that one. And so all of that is already coming to pass presently and has already started. And what he's talking about, where the hidden ones are, there are hidden ministries, small ones, where um, house churches, different places that people either only know a little bit about on the social media or they know nothing about what's really going on behind the scenes and this is where the holy spirit is working constantly this is where they keep the fire burning and this is where they keep an open heaven continually 
This is the word about the house churches. And these, this is the churches that are being hidden. Uh, there's an or in the making. Okay. And what a house church should be. God is giving his perspective. The transfiguration or the transforming of the coming church and the bride. The word of the spirit of the Lord came and said, Here is how my church shall be. A glorious church. In these churches, iron sharpens iron, and they will move in accordance to my word and in godly order. Likewise, many will come for refreshing, refining, truth, putting aside all differences, controversies, idols that would lead you away from me. One church, one church, one spirit, not many churches, not many agendas, not many denominations, but one, in unity and in one accord, to please serve and make me first. You will come together, and you, I will show up and provide ways and means to feed the hungry, provide clothing, provide medical needs that will be met. You will break bread and commune with me, and I with you. I will send those to you that are seeking truth. Not looking for a man-made church, those people will know that they are in the right place. These people will be taught, discipled, and disciplined in mind, will, and spirit. I am and will raise up godly men and women in leadership for this time. Do you understand? God is still raising up godly men and women. My truth will come to many households as people begin to come out of organized religion. They will, they will prophesy and speak God's word with precision and mindset. My house will be a house of holiness, prayer, and repentance. A godly sor sorrow of people of like kind faith, seeking truth always. Those that are not fluctuating back and forth in man-made churches, but know they are being sent for such a time as this to gather those that remain. This is what the Lord is saying the church will be like in the really heavy times that are coming. These churches are already working and have worked, some for many years, some for not. But God is wanting to redefine and kind of get them more to where they need to be. This is already happening. These are some of the hidden ones. So we are now in that time of preparation. A people that will have no excuse for not assembling in my presence together. I am weeding out and separating and moving those back who are not serious in pursuing me. I am looking for those that will volunteer in these houses of mine with prayer. And that is what some of these places will be. They're called Goshen's safe havens, but they will be houses of prayer. They're not going to be just a place of let's live together and have fellowship and eat or talk about the good old days and what we were doing. No, that's not what these are about. <clears throat> and while we're at it, yes, there will be people that will want to volunteer. They will want to help get these ready or visit or whatever. They will help financially. They will help with time and they will help to usher in the harvest. Those that will say, send me, Lord, send me. I will begin this process by sending those out who are ready and have been called, and in turn, others will come. The fire inside will burn out any chaff. The Holy Spirit will fall with great tongues of fire, and by this you will know it is of me. As judgments fall, many hundreds will come to your doors. I will send them, and I will be given all glory and praise for this. I will raise up people with a hunger, boldness, a compassion to seek, to travel, and to begin these preparations. Do not say I cannot go, or it is too hard, for nothing is too difficult for me. For if you do that, I will bypass you and move others that are ready to forge ahead. Time is short, laborers are few, and still fewer are pursuing the truth. My church will... Walk in holiness, those that are called by my name. This church will reach the four corners of the earth to proclaim my name. A call to prayer and a clarion call to repentance and a godly sorrow. 
to encourage, edify, exhort one another, and to magnify, uplift, and resound my name. The King is coming. The King is coming. Open wide, ye gate saints. I am now and will be doing a continuous purging. For does not judgment first come to the house of God? I will purge the church of its perverted and contaminated filth, lying and greed, witchcraft, filthy lucre, and all sexual immorality. My church will fulfill all the requirements in the book of Acts. My one foundation is truth, established on the rock. My justice will prevail, and the gates of hell will not prevail. Soon you will see my true church. It is happening right now, and there are those that are being ready for this time. In some of these places, the Acts church is already happening, but many are blinded are blindsided because religious church tradition has been the norm for years. And that is the key. I am is working behind the scenes. Much is being accomplished in these home gatherings, meetings. Soon they will rise to the surface for all to see. My hand and hand will be upon it all. But yes, there are still many who do not understand the kingdom principles and even spiritual ones. But to those that do, will wave aside all the doctrines of man, yes, of man, who is responsible for much of the perverted garbage that comes across the pulpit. Prepare, 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 I say, for all I've told you this day will surely come to pass. Prepare, for behold, the bridegroom cometh. Isaiah 46, 9-10 Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none other. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do my pleasure. Now, I stopped there. Those were the words that was given me. Now, then I was followed by a complete vision. In a quick moment, I saw in a vision a huge like domain without walls, just beautiful, but in a plain sort of way, and I saw people coming, so many being drawn to what was going on inside, everyone was happy. There was prayer, even dancing and singing, people had a peace about them. I saw someone was getting a huge tray with what I recognized as the communion. I was drawn to the feeling of peace and being safe. I wanted to stay there and be a part of this. I finally realized that it was the way everyone treated each other, genuine full of love and compassion. And what held them together was the love bond of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the love between each other. And I noticed everything was in godly order. There was the hand of God wooing the men. The most important thing I felt was the Holy Spirit falling. And in an instant, I was up in the air. I was in the clouds. And oh my goodness, I felt like I was on fire. I seemed to be suspended there, and a voice suddenly said, look down. And I looked down in the place I had been in only moments before looked like it was on fire. And I said, oh my gosh, the place is on fire. And then the voice said, look again. And when I did, I had to really look hard. And I saw the fire was above people's head and people were speaking, but I was not loose enough to know what was being said. And then I was back on the ground and everything was like it had been before this vision. And then in quickly again, I saw brilliance of light, colors that I could almost not stand flashing. It was with such vividness for only a few seconds. And out of it came Jesus, Yeshua, in all splendor and glory. The sheen of his robe caught my eye. And for just a second, he caught my eye. But I could not stand the brilliance of light surrounding him or the aurora of freedom, love and purity radiating from him. But it was a sight to behold. I saw this only in the spirit. And a voice cried out, This is my beloved son. Hear him. For he has carried all sin as far as the east is from the west. My church will arise and be transformed. For they are the church. And they will have glorified bodies. They will do many wonders throughout the earth. In all splendor and majesty. For behold, the bride says, Come. And I, the bridegroom, says, come. That is the end of this.